Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another... <sighs> Who the heck are you? I'm Sarkis in 2020. No, I'm Sarkis in 2020. Where'd you come from? Time travel. Time travel. How'd you get in here? And who are you meant to be? I'm Future Sarkis. Oh my gosh. You guys both need to leave. I am filming right now. You guys are distracting me. No, no, no. Hey, you, you. Don't even think about it. Get out. And let me guess, you're also suckers from Who Freaking Cares? I need everyone to leave right now. <sighs> hey guys, hope you're all well. We're almost there for 2020. Hope most of you guys are looking forward to the festive season. But I tell you what, I have a feeling 2021 is going to be a big bang for everyone. Things will get better. For everyone struggling, I assure you there is a big light at the end of this short tunnel. But what's even bigger is that I also have big plans for this channel. It's going to be amazing, but I'll need your help. So make sure you hang around till the end of the video. Subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss on these amazing room tour videos you guys keep throwing at me. It's my privilege and I'm honored to be part of all these amazing special rooms that you guys have created. Especially this 100 year old home, a second floor bedroom transformation that will literally blow your socks off. And most of all, it's all DIY, which is a massive thumbs up for me. So without further ado, let's take a look at Home Theater Room Tours episode 21. Buckle up. So this room belongs to AJ from Philadelphia, United States. AJ is a 30 year law enforcement officer currently working at Philadelphia International Airport, who's been an AV enthusiast for over 40 years. And over the last 20 years, he's configured a few home theater setups in his home. Whenever possible, he purchased used or reconditioned items to save a dollar or two, and his setup has been through so many stages of equipment upgrades over the last 10 years. But just like us enthusiasts, his passion for home theater grows stronger by the day and plans to keep grinding for that end game setup. Being an old home, he had to tackle on some complications during the build process, and with some sacrifices, he built this amazing looking labor of love room we call home theater. He's a massive physical media collector and owns over 2,000 Blu-rays, DVDs, and 4K discs. And I'm sure you guys already saw this video's thumbnail. He's a massive Marvel comic fan, and his color choice of this room is unique and powerful. All right, that's enough info for now. Let's check out this beautiful home theater. All right, let's jump straight in. So as I mentioned earlier, this home is about 100 years old and AJ managed to find some old pictures, which I appreciate. And above this second level bedroom is actually a third level extension. The original joist for the upper flooring made things extremely complicated to install. This room is about 16 by 15 feet with a nine foot ceiling. And as you can see, AJ has installed a two level riser for a two row top and bottom seating. There are a couple of windows in this room that he managed to cover with some curtains, black materials and insulation panels, keeping this home theater as dark as possible. He also DIY'd this window mounted AC perfectly fitting into one of his panels. Up above, AJ has also added a drop down bulkhead around the room to give that home theater ceiling effect with LED lighting around it. Insulated the inside of the walls, installed double layered drywall and wanted to go for something a little different on the color scheme of this room and went with this eggplant purple walls with a black soft carpet and actually built in wall AV rack to save some space which looks phenomenal. 
Alright, so before you enter the home theatre room, let's take a look at this epic entrance AJ has built. Right off the bat, first thing you see is this black bollard velvet robe, which is a nice touch. On the left wall of the hallway entrance are some cool posters of his favourite movies in different size frames. To the right, starting off with a little tribute section to the King, Black Panther wall light with pictures, followed by some cool wall signs such as this custom made Johnson Theatre frame with now showing sign, a little welcome movie stand, most of his DVDs stacked up nicely in cabinets with figurine collectibles around it, followed by this awesome concession area that has all sorts of snacks and dispensers and a 23 inch LCD display screen of 200 coming soon digital movie posters. An awesome popcorn machine that's on top of it with a mini candy bar underneath. And of course more and more DVDs until we reach to this awesome ticket booth feature of Mr. J serving you for a ticket. Which looks a little creepy but hey, cannot enter without a ticket right? And lastly on top is this custom made Johnson Theatre sign with lighting. And now we can finally enter the home theatre. Let's start off with the surround sound in this room. AJ is running a full 7.6.4 Pro Monitor setup for his left, right, surrounds and back channels. He's using the Pro Monitor 1000 speakers. These top of the line speakers produce sound quality of much bigger speakers featuring BDSS drivers with pure aluminium dome fitters. And for the front center channel, we have the Pro Center 2000, which is a beast for a small size speaker handling up to 250 watts of power. Upgrading his speakers to the Pro Monitor 1000s, he decided to use four of the six 800 series speakers for down firing Dolby Atmos surround sound, which he surface mounted instead of in ceiling speakers due to cross beams and other ceiling construction issues. With the leftover two 800 series speakers, he hooked them up as front height speakers, which are currently inactive. The bass in this room is a little crazy and I'm sure you guys know by now there are not two, not four, but six subwoofers in total and they are these two SVS 2000 Pro subwoofers that's placed under the screen. Two Pro Sub 800s and two Pro Sub 1000s sitting at the back of the room either side of his reseating which have their own built-in 300 watt amplifiers. Let's head over and take a look at what's in his AV rack. Before we jump in, let me just say this is one epic AV rack, which is the Middle Atlantic ASR48. And when I saw this, my mouth dropped, but this thing actually pulls out and rotates. Would you look at that? But starting right at the top is the Furman Merit M8LX power conditioner with lights filtering and protecting his equipment. Underneath it, we have the Panamax M5100 surge protector which AJ plans to upgrade to the 5400 PM in the near future. Moving down, the mini box you see is a DirecTV 4K mini client satellite receiver. These little beauties are an awesome addition to any type of home theater setup. Underneath is the famous Oppo UDP203 4K player, and I'm sure you guys know all about this awesome player. Sitting on top of the receiver is of course the AC Infinity Aircom T9 fan, cooling off his 9.2 channel Yamaha RXA 3080 Aventus series 11.2 channel processor 4K receiver, which he recently upgraded from the 3020 series, which also gave him the green light to be compatible with Dolby Atmos. Now check out this Kenwood GE7030 stereo digital graphic equalizer. This was one of AJ's first audio equipment to purchase in 1992 and says till today works like a charm. And last but not least, two additional amplifiers providing some serious juice to his setup and they are the Emotiva XPA200 two channel amplifier and another Emotiva XPA3 Gen2 three channel amplifier. In the near future, AJ also plans to replace his two channel amplifier with the XPA7, which will be a game changer for his current setup. Around the corner, he's also mounted the PlayStation 4 on the wall for some home theater gaming, uses the Logitech Harmony Universal Remote with Alexa capable hub to control his room. And lastly, he's built this custom 3D glasses storage case with chargers. That is awesome. 
to the front of the room for display, AJ is using the 106 inch 16.9 Vapex fixed frame screen, which features one to one gain professional material with a four inch black velvet border that will keep the image clear and vivid. He's also built these top and bottom black bar covers, which in my opinion makes a massive difference in my viewing experience. Well, that's the screen, but what about the projector? AJ has hooked up the Pro Level Epson 5040UB 4K Enhanced Projector. This beauty offers exceptional, color rich performance and immersive images. And for the price, it truly is one of the most common all around the projectors for small to medium sized rooms. This is also on the list of upgrades which is planning to replace with the 6050UB projector. For decor in this room itself, there's a few things happening. On the back and side walls, we have over 2,000 movies on shelves. On both sides and back of the room are some custom wall lights which look pretty cool. Plenty of equipment brand theatre signs on the wall which are found on eBay. And for those of you that's interested, I'll list some of these in the description box down below. And in one corner of the room is a small custom cabinet with a bench on top for storage, which is clever. Being massive on DIY, AJ has also built these floating ceiling panels that also helps out with the acoustics, as well as some treatment panels on the front wall. But he's left these wall acoustic panels to the pros from Acoustic Mac that I personally think adds a bit of character. Around the room, as well as behind the screen, the LED lighting are by Gov which are also Alexa controlled. For seating, of course, we have a two level step riser and for the time being, they're the Coaster Theatre Seats powered front recliners and manual for the rear, which are also equipped with Orisound AST-2B4 Pro Bass Shakers that's being powered by the Dayton Audio SA100 amplifier. This will also be upgraded to the Seacraft Veloce Theatre Seats, which I'll post some photos on my community tab, so make sure you're following. That brings us to the end of the tour guys, episode 21, another cracker of a room. AJ has done an incredible job, there's some really cool things in this room like the built-in AV rack and that bench top cabinet area and that entrance of course is fire. If you guys enjoy this room tour, make sure you punch that like button and show some love and support by commenting your thoughts on this video. Thanks everyone for watching, you guys keep motivating me to keep going on a weekly basis and I can't wait for my next week's video. Stay safe, stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.